and now Sunderland. Back for Palmer again. Now is this the moment? Hibbert with a shot! Yes! Oh, Hello there and welcome back to the old Golden Black YouTube channel. I'm Tom Rouse and you've joined me for another Wolves update. Now we can't officially announce it because it's unclear as to whether it's gone through yet but Barry Douglas appears to be a Wolves player. The big mistake that the Wolves media department have made is that they uploaded a video to YouTube and I managed to see it because I've got the little bell, the notification bell turned on, which of course you can do for these videos. And I managed to watch the video before it was deleted then. Quite interesting to hear him speak. He's a player who's played across Europe and Poland and Turkey, over 200 games, quite experienced, young, still got something to prove. He's wanted to play in England, was playing at the top level, and he believes that coming to Wolves is the best thing for him. He talks about Nuno being a big pull to the club for him as well, and to, you know a manager of that calibre is but is able to attract players with great ambition. He looks as if he could be quite dangerous from free kicks. From what I've seen, he's got a good left foot and he scored quite a few free kicks over his career so far. He also talked about his attacking flair and something that Nuno wants to harness in the tactics and the setup that he's going to go for. Now I've been thinking perhaps we're going to play with wing wing backs now if we've got these attacking minded wing full backs perhaps if we are we going to sort of try and emulate the style that Chelsea and eventually Arsenal adapted last season with three at the back and two wing backs we've already got the fast wingers in Costa and Cavaliero and attacking minded players I was only talking to somebody yesterday about the massive com amount of combinations now that we've got up front in the different positions and stuff I think it's very very exciting but the club tweeted then shortly after that video was deleted to say that a deal has been agreed with Konya Spore, but the contract talks are still ongoing to finalise the deal. But I have a conspiracy theory. I think that the club is delaying putting, delaying the announcement because they're going to do it alongside one or two other players. There have been strong rumours to suggest that there was more than one player shown around Compton yesterday. We know that Barry Douglas was one, that's 100% certain. But also, there was two others, up to two others. So I expect that Wolves are trying to get all these deals done to be able to announce them all together. That's what I'm hoping. I could be wrong, let me know what you think down below. There's also been some talk as it could be something to do with the end of financial fair play, which is today, apparently. Uh, another bit of transfer news then. James Nursey from the Daily Mirror tweeted earlier on that several championship clubs are interested in signing our fullback, Matt Doherty. Uh, of course, played both right back and left back, player of the season a couple of years ago. He's been a very good player for Wolves over the last few years. But now with these, we've signed two fullbacks now. Although Silvio has gone out, I don't know, could we cash in on him, perhaps a million or so? The Wolves under 23s are not going to be taking place in the Checker Trade Trophy this season. They did last season, uh, but Premier League teams like Newcastle, Man City and Spurs, who didn't take part in the competition last year, have decided that this year they would like to, which means that we have dropped out of the competition. And it's, I read, I think Tim Spears explained that it's because we finished below Reading in the final table in the championship which has been the reason why we've been removed from the competition which is a shame because I thought lots of positives came from it last season we saw players like Conor Rona and Morgan Gibbs White and Brighton and Bakari being brought into the first team a bit more because they'd had the experience of playing in massive stadiums and against better academies than they usually do but also I think that perhaps it'll give them the opportunity to go out on loan and get some more regular first team football in these stadiums and against these league football league teams. Also, Rob Edwards had brought you the news the other day that he had gone to AFC Telford as their first team manager. Now he's looking to the Wolves under 23 squad to bolster his first team at Telford with a few loans. Uh, now that's, I think, adding fuel to the fire that there is a link between Wolves and Telford. I know there's always been this sort of gentleman's agreement between the two clubs and we've played friendlies against them and our reserves play at their stadium and things like that. But the fact that a first team coach from us has gone to there and is now talking about bringing in players and there has been these rumours, there hasn't been anything over the last couple of days, but I do think it's interesting to have some sort of feeder club or we'll be the parent club for Telford. Wolves have missed out on Werder Bremen goalkeeper Felix Wiedwald. He signed for Leeds and 
So we'd be looking elsewhere, but there have been rumours about other goalkeepers coming into the club at the moment. One of those being former Norwich goalkeeper John Ruddy. We're currently fourth favourite, so quite out, quite you know considerable outsiders because Villa and Sunderland are also interested there. And one final bit of news is that Wolves game against Middlesbrough, which was due to be played on Saturday the 31st of March, a long way in the future, but still it'll come around fast, has been moved to be played on Good Friday with a kickoff at 7.45. I imagine for Sky purposes. It might work in our favour a bit later down the line because we'll have two days to recover for the game on Easter Monday. But not going to be a great following again because it's another game that's far away in a midweek. We seem to have quite a few of those throughout the season. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, drop it a like and subscribe to the channel. We're constantly growing. We're trying to get to a thousand before the start of the season. Please join me again next week, possibly tomorrow, for more announcements and more reaction to our transfer dealings. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.